In Hinduism, Shesha Sanskrit, Sesa, also known as Sheshanaga Sesanaga or Adishesha Adi Sesa, is the Nagaraja or king of all Nagas and one of the primal beings of creation. In the Puranas, Shesha is said to hold all the planets of the universe on his hoods and to constantly sing the glories of the god Vishnu from all his mouths. He is sometimes referred to as Ananta Shesha, which translates as endless Shesha or Adishesha first Shesha". It is said that when Adishesa uncoils, time moves forward and creation takes place, when he coils back, the universe ceases to exist. He is also described in Buddhism as Vasuki. Vishnu is often depicted as resting on Shesha. Shesha is considered a servant and a manifestation of Vishnu. He is said to have descended to earth in two human forms or avatars, Lakshmana, brother of Rama, Balarama, brother of Krishna. Shesha. In Sanskrit texts, especially those relating to mathematical calculation, implies the remainder, that which remains when all else ceases to exist. But in Sanskrit it also means six shesham as the Sheshanaga has been depicted to have many heads five to seven. <laughs> Form Shesha is generally depicted with a massive form that floats coiled in space, or on the ocean of bliss, to form the bed on which Vishnu lies. Sometimes he is shown as five-headed or seven-headed, but more commonly as a many-thousand-headed serpent, sometimes with each head wearing an ornate crown. His name means, "...that which remains," from the Sanskrit root sis, because when the world is destroyed at the end of the Kalpa, Shesha remains as he is. In the Bhagavad Gita of Chapter 10, verse 29, Sri Krishna while describing 75 of his common manifestations, declares, "'Anantas ca asmi naganam' of the Nagas, I am Ananta." As per the Mahabharata, Shesha was born to sage Kashyap and his wife Kadru. Kadru gave birth to a thousand snakes, of which Shesha was the eldest. After Shesha, Vasuki, Aravada and Takshaka were born, in order. A lot of Shesha's brothers were cruel and were bent upon inflicting harm on others. They were even unkind to Garuda, who was Kashyapa's son through Vinatha, sister of Kadru. Kadru and Vinatha were daughters of Daksha. Shesha, disgusted by the cruel acts of his brothers, left his mother and kin, and took to austere penances. He lived on air and meditated in places including Gandamadana, Bhadrikashrama, Gokarna, Pushkara, and Himalayas. His penances were so severe that his flesh, skin and muscles dried up and merged with his frame. Brahma, convinced of his Shesha's will, asked Shesha to request a boon. Shesha asked that he be able to keep his mind under control so that he could continue to perform ascetic penances. Brahma gladly accepted the request. Brahma then asked a favor of Shesha, to go beneath the unstable earth and stabilize it. Shesha agreed and went to the netherworld and stabilized her with his hood. He is known to support her even today, thus making Patala his perennial residence. <laughs> Maha Vishnu and Sankarshana Shesha is also depicted as floating in the ocean of the changing world, forming the bed of Maha Vishnu. Since he is known as Adishesha the foremost of snakes and because he is Anantashisha or simply Ananta endless, as he is known to remain in existence even after the end of the Kalpa, when the whole universe is destroyed. In the Bhagavata Purana Shesha is named Sankarshana, the tamasic energy of Lord Narayana himself, and is said to live deep within the inner layers of Patala, where there are many serpents with gems on their heads and where Sankarshana is the ruler. He is said to live since before the creation of the universe. When the universe is towards its end, he creates eleven rudras from him to destroy the universe for a new one to be created. Sankarshana is also one of the four Vayuha forms of Vishnu or Krishna, the other three being Vasudeva, Pradyumna and Aniruddha. Sankarshana expands himself as Garbhodakshayi Vishnu in the beginning of the universe to create Brahma. In other words, Lord Sankarshana is Lord Narayana himself. In previous chapters of the Purana it is also said that Lord Sankarshana spoke the Bhagavata to the four Kumaras, who in their turn passed this message of the Bhagavata. At some point the message was passed to sage Maitreya who in his turn spoke it to Vidura. <laughs> Other details Lakshmana and Balarama are considered avatara of Sheshanaga or vice versa. In a story from the Puranas, Shesha's younger brother Vasuki loosens Mount Mandara, to enable it to be used in the churning of the ocean by the Devas and Asuras. 
According to the Mahabharata Adi Parva, his father was Kashyapa and his mother Kadru. The city of Tiruvananthapuram is named after him as the city of Lord Anuntapadmanabha. Topic: <laughs> Quotations. The foremost manifestation of Lord Vishnu is Sankarsana, who is known as Ananta. He is the origin of all incarnations within this material world. Previous to the appearance of Lord Shri Krishna, this original Sankarsana will appear as Baladeva, just to please the Supreme Lord Shri Krishna in his transcendental pastimes." Bhagavata Purana 10.1.24 Sri Anantadeva has thousands of faces and is fully independent. Always ready to serve the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he waits upon him constantly. Sankarsana is the first expansion of Vasudeva and because he appears by his own will, he is called Svarat, fully independent. He is therefore infinite and transcendental to all limits of time and space. He himself appears as the thousand-headed Shesha. Srila Jiva Gosvami, in his Krishna Sandarbha. Sankarsana of the quadruple form descends with Lord Sri Rama as Lakshmana. When Lord Sri Rama disappears, Shesha again separates himself from the personality of Lakshmana. Shesha then returns to his own abode in the Patala regions and Lakshmana returns to his abode in Vaikuntha. A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada in the Bhagavad Gita, when in the middle of the battlefield Kurukshetra, Shri Krishna explaining his omnipresence, says, "...of Nagas, I am Ananta", indicating the importance of Ananta Shesha. Topic other names Sheshanaga Sesha the serpent Adashesha the first Sesha Anantashisha endless Sesha Ananta endless infinite alternative spellings Sesha 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 Shesha Sayana or Nagar Sayana means Vishnu who sleeps Sayana on Sheshanaga Naga Abharana means Shiva who has the Nagas worn as ornaments topic see also Naga snake worship Nagaradan Vishnu Jormangander Pamanabhaswami temple topic footnotes topic external links the glories of Lord Ananta from Srimad Bhagavatam Ananta Sesha, the legendary serpent Maha Vishnu and Ananda Sesha image of ancient Vishnu and Sesha deity form